We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona at Sold Out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Brain Washington Cadavers take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody like a match. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Yeah. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Second down in a lot. Hot, hot one. Hot. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. Third down and eight. He had it 
for a second there. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Apparently the punt of the day is being played by my kid. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Three. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburn. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and ten. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. First in and three. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot 
jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> First down in a mile. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Down and 
Well, good luck. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And, and like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that. Punching his kicks, though. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked down? That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. I, 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 I. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, what a brutal hit. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of berserk. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and six. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. First down and nine. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and nine. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't try to get banned.
opportunity here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're... First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. <laughs> Second down and six. He runs it for three. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and three. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soy like beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, geez, Grim. I hope someone ties them soon. They're going to play football. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Sound the bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and six. He is fighting for every yard. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes good. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot.
Second down in a very long. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and two. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First down and three. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and two. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those poetic rims, like a high cool. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the punishing hit. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like.
right plane high. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all ground? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. That'll wake you up. And then put you to the offense. Lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. First and two. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. in midair by the worm. They say that the early one gets the mutant, and he got all of him. Oh, look, he's spitting the plates out. First down and nine. Serve those runners now and consider passing more. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And 
defensive pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. <laughs> Third down and nine. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. Hey, if you kill a ref, it's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. <laughs> Third down in, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. There's a lot of pressure on you when you ref in the NFL. You go through three interviews, and they measure you up and down to see if you're a perfect fit. Yeah, for a casket. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. First and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at him. It bombs away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. First down in a mile. And that is a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Second down and seven. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the... Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw the real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Second down and two. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Yeah, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Third and two.
Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Uh, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have managed. The defensive players go berserk. They've been. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. Second down and six. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the bill sticking out a flimsy low hands nose. And that'll be their final timeout. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for. You know what? Never mind. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoot. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and... They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make the Cardinal Sins go home winners today. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Grim 
Quattro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.